So when it comes to the online learning for the K-12 level, I think that it's important because I think, like we've talked about in class, I think it's important to expose the students to technology because they're going to need it in, um, in school and then also later in the workforce. And um, I also think that it's important because it teaches them how to learn in other ways. It is another way to address a learning style, which is important. And um, the only thing would be the younger kids, it might not be as effective just because they're younger and they might not catch on to the technology as well. So, I mean, it would be, probably still be beneficial to use it to a degree, just maybe not as much as you would when they're older. Um, but for the most part, I think it's a, an appropriate way for them to learn. It gives them another method to take quizzes and do assignments rather than, than just the strict um, writing things down on a worksheet or taking a test by hand or whatever. It gives them another option and it makes it fresh and new. I think there should be parameters in place though, like I said, for the younger kids, um, they probably don't need as much of it. Like the older kids, like when I was in high school, we had um, a one-to-one -one program where we all had laptops. And so all of our, um, a majority of our tests, I say, would were online. And of course we wrote a bunch of papers that, was, that were created on the laptops. And then, um, we had a ton of assignments and all those sorts of things that were due on the computer versus just being on um, like that you turn in a paper. We had to email in a lot of our assignments. Um, so yeah, I think parameters should be in place to limit the use for the younger kids, but I think the older kids are pretty, they're pretty used to the technology by the time they get to that age. So I don't think parameters are really that necessary as long as there's still a little bit of a balance with um, traditional paperwork as well. Um, I don't know about every state requiring students to complete an online courses. I definitely think that it should be encouraged because I think it is beneficial for them to get the feel of what an online course is like before they graduate, but I don't know if it should be a required thing because I know some students maybe don't have the computer or the technology to do it, or they might not be going into a field of study that really needs it, or they might just be going straight into the workforce. So um, I don't know if it should be required before they graduate. Um, I used the, for my LMS, I used the Edmodo and I picked it because it, I think, I thought it looked more appealing than the other one did. And it was really easy to put together the quizzes and assignments. And I'm sure it was easy for the other one too, but that's just, Edmodo was the one that looked more appealing to me. Um, I liked, like I said, I liked how it was appealing. I liked making the quiz. It was super easy. I just made a little, um, practice quiz for like a third grade English class and it was super easy to just create the questions and then, um, pick which one was the right answer and put it together like that. Um, the thing that I would dislike would be, um, it didn't seem like you could really put together any like activities or games kind of like on Kia. And I liked, um, I liked how you could put together the games to make it fun, particularly for the younger kids versus these LMSs are mainly just used for assignments and quizzes. That would be the only thing that I dislike. But yeah, I enjoyed putting together the work and I think that it would be beneficial to have as a future teacher.